Well, let's talk about Hiram and Veronica, because that's an interesting okay. relationship right now. It appears he's cut her off. Um, some threats were kind of exchanged between the two of them. Yeah. What is that relationship going to be like this season? And is that, because he does love his daughter. Oh, I mean, that's his, yeah, that's, you know, his family is the most important thing. He has a really weird way of showing that. Um, in that scene that you're talking about when he cuts her off, I think that Hiram was absolutely hoping that she would acquiesce and like, all right, okay, fine. Because he's pulling off everything off the table for her. Mm -hmm. So I think he was secretly devastated that that happened. He wasn't happy that, she, that he got to crush her that way. Um, he, you know, he loves his daughter, but he just has to figure out like a more, a more um, less dysfunctional way of showing it. Yeah, having her boyfriend arrested probably going to make that relationship uh, sweet and intense you know, and smiling yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. And smiling. Enjoy. Well, that was a choice. It was a choice. I sit and, and that's that scene in particular, you know, I remember it was the last shot before I, I wrapped the season and I was leaving. And so I was the going. The smile was not going home? I was going to the Caribbean. <laughs> I hadn't seen a sun in six months. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm out of here. Um, I think that was more. But we did a few different takes and they, they chose that one. Um, and Hermione's relationship with Veronica, she gave her a bit of information that proved crucial. Yes. And that's a way she's, is she, do you, is she playing the sides? Is that one way she's showing love? I think that, I don't think Hermione ever stopped loving Veronica. I think that she became the bad guy so that Veronica wouldn't go after him. Better to hate me than him because I'm way less dangerous than he is. Um, and so I think by the end of season two, we've seen Hermione like she's done. We're done. And she needs to figure out how to now get the power back, so she has to do things behind the scenes. But with season three, we're going to see Hermione sort of be forced to have a choice and choose a side and, and declare it. And I'm really looking forward to that.